at starting my YouTube vlog since I've had my baby. So let's catch up. I have obviously had a baby, if you guys have been following me on Instagram. And I am at home for as long as I can be, hopefully. And I thought I would start back on YouTube. So if you have been following me for a really long time, you know that I have tried to come on YouTube. I've got a few videos on here already and I did some travel vlogs and all of those things. And whilst working, it was actually quite hard for me to keep it all up and um, doing all the editing and everything. And also, just as I just started off again um, a month, two months ago, I think, I tried to start off my vlog again. And again, it was really hard and I couldn't start it, start it off I had to delete all of the footages that I managed to film every single day, but I couldn't edit the vlog in time to put it up every week. And then by the time that I kind of got some time, like it was just too late and it would have made absolutely no sense for me to put it up because you guys would not have been able to make sense of like what was happening because the timelines were just so out of whack and this keeps shaking. I'm so sorry. Um, so some logistical things I am filming on my phone because I don't currently have my vlogging camera. My vlogging camera's battery died um, and I don't know where the charger is. <laughs> That's how long it's been since I've used that camera. So I am still trying to look for the charger. Until then, I'm going to have to use my phone and it's going to be really hard because I think the phone quality is really bad. So I'm just getting ready now and I thought we would chat while I get ready. Um, Raj Pear is sleeping and honestly, I think he's going to wake up any minute now. So I'm going to try and quickly do this and then and then hopefully I do it in time before he wakes up. Um, my makeup, as you can see, I am in his nursery. So we have set up like a little table um, in his nursery by the window because the light here is so good. And he doesn't really need his... Oops. <laughs> he doesn't really need his nursery really um he still sleeps with this doesn't even use this like crib at the moment so yeah so this is where my makeup station is it might change once he grows up why am i trying to return back to youtube i don't even know if i started on youtube so why am i trying to have a vlog on youtube now because i feel like at the moment i am not really getting the time to talk a lot on um I'm trying to find like a very light makeup foundation. Maybe I'm going to use this Shishado one. It is quite nice like for just, um, it's like a tint and really quite nice for like an everyday sort of a wear. Um, I'm going to start this again. So why am I trying to come back to YouTube? I think it's because I mm. am... I find, I'm finding that I'm not having time to really talk on Instagram as I used to back in the day. Like, I had a lot of time back um, before. Even I feel like during, like, having, before having the baby, like, having, like, I couldn't really post a lot on my stories and chat on there. And I feel like there's so much, like, you get to say on YouTube as well, like, through these vlogs. Um... I keep looking at myself, but I know the camera's here. Um, I know, like, I follow a lot of create. Oh my god, this is quite brown. But that's okay. Oh, this is definitely not my shade, but that's all right. I'm not going anywhere today. I'm just going to go to Pilates. Um, oh my god, I keep trying to start this, and then I stop. But um, I follow a lot of creators on um, YouTube myself and like I really look forward to their vlogs and I love watching it like just catching up even if like their lives are like so different to mine like they are on a yacht one day they're on a cruise and like they're all over like different places 
but I still love watching them and I just think it's such a lovely way to like kind of catch up with people and like people that um and have a community pretty much and I think that's the most important thing and um and I love to talk so <laughs> so I think this is like a great like opportunity for me to talk and also like kind of like I I have noticed that I'm getting a lot more like products and like things and you guys don't really get to see like me use it unless if I do like a get ready with me on um on TikTok which is a little bit hard um I don't know how this is gonna go like it might go really really well but or I might just be like yep I can do it and then find that I have no time to do it so it's it's gonna be a bit of an up and down thing um as I figure out life at the moment at the moment has been so crazy like just I think anyone who's become a mum would know but also I think because I am somebody who did so much like before having a baby um I'm still trying to do all of those things that I am really trying to like finding it's like a whole learning curve trying to find like my way around um trying to still do the things I did before as I think a lot of mums would like no like um yeah you're not trying to lose yourself but also you're trying to spend as much time with the baby and also there's so much housework like I've literally just like been like nope I'm not gonna do any housework today I'm just going to do this like filming like my priority was to film and then to put all of this up also I got this like by Terry bronzer in my um Mecca box so Mecca sent me like an August box and this was in part of it this is my first by Terry product and I am just in awe of like the packaging like it is so pretty um but I watch a lot of my um creators like over the UK and they use by Terry so much and I've been like wanting my own by Terry product I always put like um bronzer over my eyelid and um just for like like a normal day sort of a look this is normally what I would do for like a uh, makeup look like like ma no makeup makeup look kind of a thing I feel like this vlog is gonna be quite choppy and changing because how do you start like a vlog and um like you have so much to say yet like you I find it quite hard to say it um also look at like how dry my hands are like they are really peeling at the moment like I'm finding that dryness has been a big problem for me while um postpartum like my skin was really really dry like the couple of weeks after giving birth like and I am like I'm finding that my skin is on the driest side now so which is which is kind of like I don't want to say cool but I'm um, still like cool <laughs> um because I get to use products now and be on a very different skincare journey to what I am used to and um discover all these things like you know like really really product layered for like hydration um and i found that my acne isn't like milk dairy and gluten used to really set my acne off before the baby but at the moment like i'm finding that that's not actually the case which is really cool like um i'm getting away with having a lot more like milk products um and gluten products also I don't know how creators do this like talk while they get ready they do it so well I really hope my um I find my vlog cameras um battery or if I end up like doing really well like and really being consistent with my um vlogs on here I might have to buy another one because it's really hard to do on my phone my phone's storage is also like going out this is like an iphone 13 so it's quite old it might die on me one day actually so yeah so that's probably not a good idea to like do all of my filming on here as well like 
I'm going to continue on, but also I don't want to go and invest in like a camera at the moment if I'm not going to use it. Like my old vlogging camera that I did buy, I didn't even use it that much and it was a bit of a waste. I don't get to do this often, like do my makeup and stuff. I'm trying to make it a thing that I do do my makeup because otherwise I feel like I, I look like a troll most of the day and I don't really want to do that. Using this Kosa's blush, I haven't tried this. This was also part of the August Mecca box. So it is new in Mecca at, from August and it's quite a cute shade. Like I haven't actually tried it. It's got like lighter pigments in it. It like, um, so let's try it on. Oh, that is pretty. It's got like a bit of like shimmer and shine to it. Also, I feel like whenever I put products on, it doesn't go on that well on this side. Like I'm always like not putting enough products on the side of my face, but I am. So I'm like, I don't know what happens. Like, is it my face shape like on one side? Like, is that what the problem is? My lip liner is this Max Saw and it is like an OG lip liner. I absolutely love it. Like I've been using it for years. The only issue is that I changed the um lip pencil sharpener thing. And it's like kind of broken my lip pencil. And that's annoying because it actually took out like a chunk of like the actual product and I was like, no 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 i hate like don't do that at the moment i'm also very much into like um lip liners and then putting like a lip balm on top if you guys see this it'll be really interesting to see how well these things do and if you guys do like it if you do guys if you guys do like it if you have followed like if you do end up coming on here because i share this on my um instagram please let me know on instagram if you guys enjoy it because i feel like i i've never really had a chance to really chat too much to you guys on here i keep all of my lip balm products in this bag it's like such a cute bag from bobby brown and um, this, this is like a new makeup setup as well i just did it up like a couple of days ago so and this is the second time that i'm using this setup so it'll be interesting to see if i do oh my god this is too much product no i definitely put too much product on there and i don't want to waste it this is the glossier one like um i'm just getting ready to oh my god where's the camera i'm just getting ready to go to pilates I am doing reformer Pilates. I've done it before um, and I've done it with a couple of different studios. This time around I'm doing with um, reformer New Market and doing the beginners um, class and I've just let the and I've let the um, instructor know that I have just given birth so a few of the um workouts are just altered so that i can do them a little bit differently and the only alteration is that we um i do like a more of a um friendly supportive um, approach so i won't put that much resistance on um as like other people would and you know what I found is that my center of gravity has changed so much since giving birth. Like, I couldn't even, I did this last week and um, my hands are so dry. So I'm just going to use this um, hand cream. It's a hand lotion from Circa Mango and Papaya. And it is so beautiful. We've actually finished the, um, the hand like wash for it but this just sits in my bathroom um because both Rosh and I get really bad like dry hands but um yeah so I did the reformer Pilates first time back um last week and it was really hard like I couldn't even keep up my balance like there's like a move where you put your one front foot um on the platform and then you put your back foot on the reformer like the seat that moves and I couldn't even like hold 
I have no idea where the kaibon is. Uh, I couldn't even hold like my weight on it. Like I was like trying to, it was, it was really difficult, but I'm so happy to just kind of get into it. Like, um, the instructor explained what, um, obviously I know what happens to like your abs as when you get pregnant like it moves apart but she's uh when you come back like pilates is a really really good um exercise to kind of come back into like working out with like i used to do boxing before this i did it even up till i was like seven months pregnant but i know that going back isn't i can't just go straight back to boxing because i need to like really like help my core regain its strength again and pilates is such a good way and um the instructor was telling me how like we don't want the muscles to sit where it's like kind of moved out we don't want it to sit there so we're not doing going to do any like hard workouts and like really help it sit we're going to just kind of help support it come back and that's just by doing like gentle excellent like core exercises so that it comes back but it wasn't just my core it was like my legs my arms my chest everyone everything felt like it was just so changed um and it's yeah amazing so it's going to be a long long journey but i am just really happy that i was able to start quite early on and like i have been doing lots of walks like from like two months ago um just to kind of you know obviously to get out and about but also just to kind of like get like moving around just so that i can um yeah just get back into it all but um it's nice to kind of get out as well and go to pilates class like it makes me feel so good like there's something about reformer pilates it's like so bougie and just so nice i am still looking for like a mums and bubs a reformer pilates sort of a place <laughs> Good morning guys i am off to rpm this morning i do rpm with les mills and um i used to do like a actually it's not rpm it's sprint i get this wrong um it's sprint they do also do rpm so what it is it's like spin class um with like those bikes in like a studio i used to do that a lot on like a thursday morning um before i got pregnant and stuff it was like one of our like core workouts that we used to do alongside alongside like boxing and all so it's really good they have two different types they've got a sprint class which is the one that i'm going to today it's 30 minutes it's so much more bearable and then they've got the 45 minutes one which is an rpm and that is actually quite tough um we did the rpm version um last week and that was kind of like my first actually that was my first class back and it was tough it was so tough i didn't even put on any like resistance on my bike i was just like i'm just gonna ride it felt like i was riding like doing like a sunday ride um in between um roshan and my sister because we go together and um yeah but today yesterday i did pilates so today will be a little bit tough because my joints are quite sore um especially like my inner thighs are quite sore and that is kind of feel like that's what gets worked out um at rpm as well um i am wearing this really cute oops, i am wearing this really cute lorna jane jacket they kindly gave it to me um i meant when i met um the pr team that looks after them and this looks really nice it's so comfortable like um i know spring's here and it gets really hot but it's also really cold like sometimes so it's really good to kind of chuck this on top it comes with a hoodie as well that i've removed but this is so comfortable absolutely love it um the plan for today is that i'm gonna go to um this and then i'm gonna come back home and then Roshan and myself and Rajpi will go out for um breakfast and then Roshan has a concert today which sadly I can't go to because I'm looking after Rajpi at home um and then while like but the concert starts around like 4 30 so 
he should be home early. Um, but in that time, I'm going to go with my sister-in-law, who I'm going with right now to RPM. We are going to go for a walk, hopefully if it doesn't rain, um, out to One Tree Hill, which will be really, really nice. Um, get some coffee, get a walk in. I try and get a lot of my workouts in like around the weekend, so just because I know like during the week, it's, it's, it's definitely hard to kind of get out sometimes um, with timings and stuff. So yeah, so that's the plan for today What's up, Jess? How are you? oh my god sprint was so bloody hard today um the guy knew my sister-in-law and he kept coming in like to dialing up her resistance and i was like i better go hard because i do not want him to do the same to me but oh i am I'm so glad I did it, but also I don't know how smart it was given that I had Pilates yesterday and my groin is like my pelvis is quite sore from the workout yesterday and today it was a lot of like strength building, a lot of like heavy resistance and like standing work, but um, I am glad I did it though. Um, sprint is always so good because it is like quickly it finishes quickly but also i was looking at the time i forgot to wear my watch but i was looking trying to look for the time to be like how long has it been how long has it been like is it nearly over is it nearly over but it was tough but it was a good one now i'm gonna go to a cafe and i'm gonna feel like i deserve the treat that i'm gonna have at the cafe <laughs> Do you think this one's going to be better? Well, this has got wheels, so it's like if you, because you're going to be home, you're going to be mocking the downstairs. And... Morning, everybody. I am... My mirror has a light and it's just keeps changing color and it's probably because I've stuck my phone on the mirror so it's just gone really warm and my face I'm just gonna wait for it to go white and then I'm gonna move this I just did a whole video once I moved this camera up of talking and I wasn't even recording so back to talking to you guys now so i am cleaning my bathroom it's been a wee while since i have cleaned my bathroom and today we got the chance to do it so i am going to clean my bathroom um today we went to sylvia park because we are going to go to a wedding and whether we where we're going it's a lot warmer place and i can tell you i do not fit into any of my summer clothes so i had to go and buy some clothes i went to zara um h&m i went into dakuba as well because it was at sylvia park i don't know if i mentioned it but um it was at sylvia park that i went this little clip is from may here and it's so cute um went to sylvia park and yeah, so we, I ended up getting some stuff from Zara and I was just ta um, earlier talking about before it was not recording was that before all of this, like before having a baby and stuff, I, I knew my styles and I knew what would fit me, what wouldn't fit me. Um, and it was, it's been such a different change since then, like of what fits me and what doesn't fit me. And it's been quite difficult like the styles yeah i like took like a bunch of stuff to the changing room and now i have to like try stuff on like before i i used to just buy it without trying and and like 99 percent of the time it would actually fit me and like would look great and i would know what to like what it would look like and what to pair it with but now it's not the case i actually have to like wear it and um this is the kerastase um Nutriv um, hair like root serum thing and it is so nice like honestly I love it so much like I have gone through a few bottles of this and also this has finished this is my Kerastars Kerastars Elixir Ultimate oh, Elixir Oil oh my god I buy this I this has finished so before this finished I went and bought this one 
Um, I know I work with Kara Stars. If you guys have seen me on Instagram, I have I do work with them, but I actually go and buy this. Like, if you do not have this in your hair care routine, what are you doing? <laughs> Get yourself this because honestly, it is the best. Like, and it's not just even coming from me. This is like people from all over the world. They all love this. It's so good. Like, um, there's different types, but I just buy whichever one. This one I think is for color, but it doesn't really matter. Like, there's a gold one of this as well, but so good. I always like every routine. I think somebody asked me on TikTok, how does my hair look so healthy? It's not, it's very dry, but I put this in and it makes it look healthy. So definitely so good. Um I'm gonna put this in my little finished bottle, like finished product box where I like go through all of like the stuff that I finished on TikTok and I post it onto Instagram as well. Try to anyway. But anyway, sorry, I, I digress. It's talking about my um outfit issues. Um so yeah, um I took a whole bunch of stuff into the changing room, walked out with like only like being happy with like three or four of them um so yeah so it's it's a journey and different things now look better different like nice on me and i just have to accept that that it is that is what it is i like stuff before like i think i struggle the most with like shorts and pants because obviously you have to be like a certain size for them um and obviously like once you have a baby you have that little like kangaroo pouch um and they really like most pants accentuate that pouch and i know that you're not meant to be you know i've just had a baby and i understand that it is that's just how it is and you know like as much as i love my body and everything still um that has been quite difficult for me um i've always struggled with pants because i always like have really wide hips really thick legs um and short legs so i've always struggled with it anyway and now it's like even <laughs> more of a problem so yeah so i am looking for shorts um i know there's some on dish that i'm probably gonna go and online and like order but yeah so i will maybe do like a video of like what i've like bought um over on tiktok if you guys are on there just to kind of like yeah just like to try like show what i my journey because i think that's quite um i'm I, I'm enjoying sharing that with you guys um, over on here, like what I'm trying, like finding like what I can wear, what I can't wear. But yeah, I am going to now clean my bathroom because we got the Kacha steam cleaner, the SC3. <laughs> it was so expensive. We went to Bunnings and we had to, we had to clean the bathroom and I was like, well, if I'm going to clean the bathroom, I need the tools for it so i haven't i'm not much of a cleaner actually um there was a time when we used to get cleaners to come and clean because i just i love to clean actually i love to clean but man the bathroom very undignifying cleaning the bathroom but um but that is our job today and i'm really excited to use my clean um Kacha steam cleaner and see what it like what it does because it's so like all over tiktok so I'm going to probably finish the vlog off here today um, and try and edit it tonight or tomorrow. I do have some jobs to edit, so hopefully I can get this out because that is the whole point of me starting this again. I really hope you guys have enjoyed like chatting with me this week. I am just so unhappy that I've got my I'm doing it on my phone and not on my vlogging camera. I'm still gonna I'm still looking for its charger. Um and yeah, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I really have enjoyed this. I think like yeah, it's going to be so much fun just like chatting to you guys. And yeah, um, if it is going to be like a lot more in depth, like if you guys have been asking me questions on Instagram or like over in TikTok and I haven't really been quite answering them, I feel like I will like end up answering like them on here. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next week, hopefully. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, message me on Instagram or like comment on here, subscribe, whatever you gotta do on YouTube. Like it'll be great to just build this community because I really want to be consistent on this because I love to talk and like kind of just get get it all out. Like I, I'm finding that it's a lot easier to talk on this than it is to get on Instagram and like do it whilst I'm like working. But I, like with YouTube, at least I can sit down one night and just edit it and then just put it all up. But I'll see you guys next week.